Metabolism. Metabolism is the amount of energy you need to breathe, circulate blood, and regulate hormones, among other things. Lifestyle behaviors that can impact metabolism, like the experience of everyday stress, yeah, we know that, especially a managed stress over time is going to lead, possibly, to negative impacts on glucose metabolism. Now, researchers report that stress-induced mental health conditions like depression is directly linked to abnormal glucose metabolism. Your specific metabolic rate can vary based on your size, your gender, your age, as well as your physical activity level and thermogenesis. Thermogenesis makes up about 10% of the calories that your body burns. It comes from the energy burned while your body is digesting, absorbing nutrients, transporting all the goodness all throughout your body, and stores the food that you consume. That's a lot of science, right? We just wanna know, what are the top nutritional suggestions on the best way to boost my body's metabolic rate? I got you covered. It's Dr. Nancy, here we go. Number one, when life gives you lemons, you're gonna boost your metabolism. Besides extremely alkalizing and refreshing citrus fruits, like lemons, it can help with speeding up metabolism. Research shows that the antioxidants, polyphenols in citrus fruits like lemons can suppress weight gain by increasing beta oxidation. Now these polyphenols increase the breakdown of fat in the body to create more energy for the body to use. I want you to infuse your water with lemon slices, warm water that is, or you're gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon on your salad or in your tea for a sweet little metabolic boost. Number two, eat peppers, beans, and broccoli. The compound in hot peppers called capsaicin can boost metabolism, just a little bit, just a little bump. <laughs> Chili peppers hold some anti-obesity effects as well. In fact, research shows that this anti-inflammatory compound enhances the fat breakdown in the body and it increases energy expenditure, which boosts metabolism and can support weight loss efforts. That sounds pretty good to me. Number three, next are the beans that are super high in fiber. In the same way that protein revs up your metabolism by taking more energy to digest, well, fiber does it by slowing down digestion. High fiber foods slow down digestion, which in turn gives the body more time to break down all that food that you eat and absorb the nutrients from them. This boosts uh, your processes of thermogenesis and as a result, it also turns up the metabolism dial. Not only that, but the research shows that fibers from beans or other whole grains may also enhance the breakdown of fat that can promote white adipose tissue browning, which in turn you guessed it, boosts your metabolism. Number four, say yes to broccoli and other fiber-rich produce. You may know that vegetables and other fiber-rich foods are good for your gut health, but they also can boost your metabolism as well. And this is because, like mentioned before, fiber allows for more time for your body to digest and absorb the nutrients from the food that you eat. This means more energy that your body uses for thermogenesis, the more your metabolism will crank up. However, this isn't the reason, the only reason that you should be eating your vegetables. The antioxidants found in fruits and vegetables also, we know this, help reduce inflammation in the body, keeps you healthy, it can improve your gut, health overall, and it can support you in your health goals. Therefore, be sure to add in about one to two cups of fresh vegetables or fresh fruits every single day, every single meal, I wanna say, so that you can meet your body's need for fiber and also rev up your metabolism. Yeah? All right. Next up is number five, which is to eat chicken or other great sources of high quality protein. Protein is one of those three major macronutrients that we always talk about, the others being carbohydrates and fat. Protein is necessary for maintaining lean muscle mass in the body, which in turn helps to maintain healthy metabolism as you age. But not only that, research shows that it takes more energy to break down and digest the protein than the other macronutrients. So in turn, you burn more calories when you're eating a higher protein meal. I want you to aim for 30 grams each meal, 30 grams of protein each meal. Number six is to enjoy your cup of joe. Your favorite morning and afternoon pick-me-up can also pick up the pace of your metabolism. And this is due to the caffeine in the coffee, which recent research shows that can promote brown adipose tissue function in turn, improving metabolic health. 
but I want you to remember to drink in moderation. Drinking too much caffeine, a lot of us do that, it's gonna lead to side effects like nervousness, stomach ache, diarrhea, rapid heart rate, insomnia, headaches, just to name a few. So sit to no more than one cup of joe a day, one cup of coffee a day. Choose organic black coffee whenever possible. This is gonna help cut down on pesticides that lurk in conventional grown coffee and get you to your metabolic needs. Number seven is to eat more garlic. This potent and flavorful edible bulb is a great booster of metabolism as well. Research shows that a certain type of garlic known as black garlic can downregulate fat metabolism, which in turn can help lower cholesterol and lipid levels in the blood. Garlic oil has been found to have a similar effect on fat metabolism. So you can use garlic oil and drizzle it on your salad or fresh vegetables or meat uh, before you bake them to improve your metabolism. Number eight is green tea. Green tea can boost metabolism. Green tea alone actually decreases resting metabolic rate, but it was only when combined with resistance training that it helped boost metabolism versus resistance training alone. Research showed that and it was very compelling. Make sure that you do choose organic green tea as well. Number nine is to Nick the alcohol. When you consume alcohol, the liver stops breaking down fat and it focuses on getting rid of the alcohol from your body. And in turn, you'll lose precious fat burning hours. And in fact, Dr. Timothy Leg of Medical News Today in the article, How the Body Processes Alcohol, he explains that it takes the liver about one hour to process one ounce of alcohol. And during this time, fat burning decreases significantly. So yeah, chew on that. Okay, all right, we understand what we have to do, right? Nix the alcohol. That's it for Fat Burning Secrets, my top nine. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. It's Dr. Nancy.